Hello everyone, so today I'll be teaching you how to get into uh, po uh, pull or incline or orbit. Um, well, I'm going to be teaching you how to rendezvous and pull or, pull or and incline over. So, um, typically when you're launching to an equatorial orbit where your trajectory is aligned with the equator, you would, um, well, most commonly, people launch eastward so I'm going to use that in this example so let's say you launch eastward uh, which is going around curving around this direction when you get in orbit um, so when you want to rendezvous with that ship you're going to launch eastward as well and uh, you're going to launch the same way each time and um, you're going to catch up with that ship just like that now it's pretty much the same principle with getting in an incline, incline orbit or polar orbit but uh... the difference is curving is constantly rotating uh... when you're in an equatorial orbit it's sort of sitting the orbit sort of like sitting there going around with curving but when you're uh... in an incline orbit Curbin is rotating under you, so you would have to. That's why launch windows are uh, important, not just for rendezvous, but it's also to get to other planets and stuff like that, and moons and etc. But um, so Curbin is launching under you. You can see if I time warp a little bit, Curbin is just rotating. You just saw that little rotation. And at the same time, your location on the launch pad is moving as well. So you need to wait until the right time to launch. This is when your uh, ascending and descending nodes are the same. Now, I use curve and alarm clock to tell me when my ascending and descending nodes are the same. This is what my little launch here, my little uh, clock here is telling me. So I have two minutes until the time for me to launch. And that launch window is small. Um, so. When I uh, originally launched this, I uh, launched it from right over here, and uh, right over here, and this is where I originally was when I launched my space station core. So I went to uh, 135 degrees east, which is southeast direction, and uh, I would need to do this. I need the same exact thing once I once Kerbin gets over here back to this original point where I uh, originally got into orbit um, now let's say I was on the other side because there's two launch windows each day so let's say I was on the other side and I originally launched from over there I would need to uh, launch in the opposite direction but don't get confused by this statement the uh, target is still going around curving eastward so if I launch in the exact the opposite direction which is 350 uh, degrees I would uh, be going around curving at uh, in a westward direction what is that northwest and I would be going against the target that, that's not what I want to do so I want to catch up to the target so instead of launching that way I would launch 45 degrees which is Northeast, that's northeast, and I originally go southeast. Southeast, I still want to go south. I mean, I still want to go east. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep going east. So uh, my ascending node, I think this is the ascending node. I'm not sure. It's uh, well, actually, I think they're always both aligned at the same time. Um, it's getting close to my launch window, so I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna since I'm right here where I originally got my space station core into orbit uh, the space is, is currently fully assembled but you know you can see my other video when I launched the space station core uh, I launched it in the uh, 135 degrees east uh, so I'm gonna do the same thing if I'm on the other side then I uh, at 45 degrees. This is this this uh applies uh if you're launching in another direction too. All right. So I, I won't be doing 
I'm gonna be using a Polaroid orbit, and in this example, I'll be using a um, inclined orbit, 45 degree inclined orbit. So, go ahead and do my launch checklist right now. Uh, SAS mom, which uh, my monitoring resources are enabled. Uh, Delta V status looks good. Jibbera is in the cockpit. Everything looks good. Alright. I'm going to launch in here at 1.35 IM. No, wait. Alright, bye. Yep, that's 1.35. Everything is looking nominal. Manual inspection of the rocket is looking good. Uh, electricity systems on rocket. Let's go. Right, 5. 4. Three, two, one, and we have lift off. Uh, okay, we have lift off. Uh, this is, I'm not sure if I did that. I think I hit the space bar twice. Lift off of Tango Five here, and the crew member to the space station. I think I just did. Thought mm -hmm. I hit spacebar twice. I saw a little jump in my monster Why do I am using Fairmount Space Research and Daily Yenshi? Video is by Tortus767. My KSP farm username is just Tortus. My YouTube is Tortus007, so I'm sort of uh, in different aliases. You can visit my website in the description. Turns out to get my pro grade as low as I can get it, but I'm not trying to uh, go too far away from my pro grade. I don't want my rocket to flip on me. Back when I was new to Fair and Aerospace Research, uh, which is a modification for the game, and um, I learned that the hard way. Alright, so everything is currently looking normal. Slightly, just slightly, uh, well, of course, there's nothing major. Uh, maybe I'm gonna do this a little bit, bring my quartz trajectory towards that way a little bit. Again, I don't want to go too far away from the program. When I'm doing corrections, when I'm when I'm doing corrections uh, like this, without setting a node or anything, I sort of just guess it. So, um, if I'm sort of like pulling my rocket towards this way and it's not going, and it's not working, I'll just pull it towards this way again. Yep, it seems like it's correcting. It's going back. Yeah, so I need it directly on that 135. 
Alright, uh, I'm slowly approaching where I want my Apple Apps to be. In real life, this would be slightly more difficult because uh, the engines, well, most a lot of rocket engines, uh, can't restart. I guess it's a problem when they're when the rockets are in space and uh, and microgravity and uh, the fuel, something with the fuel, but they can't get the fuel down to the engine or something. So a lot of rockets can't ignite after it shuts off. So uh, in real life, they usually get into orbit uh, without stopping their burn, but I just cut off my burn and I'm going to coast to the apple apsis and uh, keep getting some horizontal velocity or forward velocity and then uh, I'm going to get into orbit. If you're enjoying the video so far, a lot of people say, well, a lot of people just do stuff with Mech Jab. That's a modification that pretty much does uh, everything for you. It's like an autopilot. I'm not a fan of it at all. I like to do things manually. Uh, to more of a challenge, you know, brings the fun to the game, you know, uh, I like to do things manually, so I never used my gear before. It's your choice if you want to use it, but I don't, yeah. or at least if you're going to use it, you know, learn how to do it manually first. Alright, so I'm approaching. Alright. Alright. Now we're going to program. What I don't like about this, uh, this was successful. Uh, what I don't like about this is uh, I don't have much data. Like if I was in real life, I would have screens of data right in front of me. But when I'm getting into orbit, uh, I just have these lines right here, and it doesn't tell me my current uh, periapsis altitude. It doesn't tell me any of that, so I sort of like have to watch it visually. That doesn't bother me, but you know, some launches, some of my launches can be failures due to lack of data. Yeah, uh, but that is rare. I like to keep my kerbals uh, safe. You know, I sort of like to play uh, realistic. Um, you know, safety, Kerbal safety is the top priority. So now I'm in a, a 45 degree, well, in a client orbit, um, and uh, after you get into orbit, you know, you're pretty much halfway to anywhere. So it's the same procedure as rendezvous and docking in the, uh, equatorial orbit but you're in an inclined or polar orbit now so uh, after that you can go ahead and set your nodes and you know rendezvous and dock I'll be doing that shortly after I get Jibberai onto my <coughs> space station I'm gonna take some crew off my space station because it's currently filled up with 10 kerbals at the moment and they've been there for months, maybe years. Yeah, I think they've been in there for years. It's time to get them off, you know? Jebediah has been sitting around KSC for a while. 
I'm too scared for him to lose his life to send him anywhere. <laughs> and anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, pretty much it. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to set your nose and everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is on a tutorial on how to get into orbit. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to dock in this tutorial. I do have some docking tutorials. You can check out my other videos. Alright, thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I don't care. And, uh, you know, have fun. Enjoy life.